Greetings everybody and welcome back to Resident Evil 4 Remake Berserker Mod. I don't know if this is part 13. It might be, it might be not. Um, if you watched part 12, um, you know what happens here. I literally had to uh, replay through the campaign to get back here. Um, and I saved before, what's his name? Uh, Chief Mendez this time. Um, this whole video might be just dedicated to this part. It could be part 13. I guess, yeah, I guess. W maybe, maybe not. But, um, well, actually not, because this is how my inventory looks this time. I am I am armed to the teeth. We have the same upgrades, but this time I bought the Magnum just for this son of a gun. And Ashley is wearing her armor. So. Yep. Um. This won't count to the progress. I just want to see what he drops, and I just want to, um... I just want to fight him, really. But, um, as soon as this is done, part 13 will be back from the, back from the castle. Um, where we didn't fight him. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's kill this guy. Let's kill this guy. I know we can kill him. Probably should put this here. Yeah, this, this, this dude is... Piss off. Light it, light it, light it. He's he's still going. He's still going. Fuck. Nice! Thank you! Thank you, Dynamite Lady! No way. We did it? Is he? Is he dead? We did it. That's it? Okay. You hurt? I'm good. Thanks. Well, that was first try. Okay, actually wearing the armor does does make quite a difference actually. Oh, yeah, I've noticed by the way the during this one especially the expanded treasure map doesn't drop any any treasures. They all drop ammo. And, uh, one more thing. Um, the, th this mod has so much, like, so, we, we read the, the, the note from Mendes that it's gonna be Dr. Salvador, which gave us a hint. But there, there are actually many notes scattered around, literally everywhere that give hints on what's to come. For example, I read uh, one in the farm, in the beginning of the farm, that tells you about the cabin. Like, hey, the cabin is still unlocked, please remember to lock it, so on and so forth. So, props to the mod developer for, like, uh, taking the time to actually add these hints and these uh, this type of stuff. Also, the... Um, after the farm... When you're going to the place where they throw all the dynamite and whatnot, before they drop the rock, there is actually a ladder that you can take to go up to that bridge 
where where they are and uh it takes you um uh it takes you basically to um, there is a rhinoceros beetle there which um there's a note from the from the merchant about them like hey there are these stag beetles everywhere i will reward you for each one you find there's one in each level so on and so forth but yeah there's a rhinoceros wheel there and it takes you basically a different route into the the, the dynamite place um which we s i skipped in the first playthrough but yeah but uh no uh a great mod um i'm glad uh salvador doesn't drop anything that's uh too crazy like just the stingray or something like that but yeah let me just uh, I don't know I might use this uh, file to just in case we miss anything in the main one I might use this one to you know go back and do it I'll save. So, this is the main one. I'm gonna save here. I think this is the main one, right? Yeah, I'll save here. And I, I will see you in part 13. That's for sure. Take care and peace.